Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new here, my name is Danny, and if you're returning, I'm so sorry it's taken me such a long time to film and upload. I think it's about, been about six, seven weeks. But I've had a crazy few weeks. Work's been really busy. Um, it was my birthday in May, my 30th birthday, so um, yeah a lot of time was spent on that i was very fortunate to be able to have a party of 30 people outside which was such good fun um i put some like highlight clips on my instagram if you want to go and take a look um but yeah it was just the best night filled with the people that i love and yeah i just haven't really been in the zone to film but we are back baby bigger and better than ever <laughs> um and i've got an exciting video planned today do i want to keep clapping um I've got an exciting video planned today. Um, the sun is shining. It's getting warmer, even though I think it's going to rain later this week. But by the by, we're like well and truly into the summer season now, um, which means that people are going out in the sunshine, going to parks, wanting to have a little drink with their friends. Um, and I know particularly like the last month, with things like opening up again, I've been like non-stop in like pubs and restaurants. So um, I have spent so much money. So I know everyone's gonna be opting to do things that are a little bit um, nicer on their bank accounts. So in today's video, I'm going to be taste testing and reviewing five different um, G&T gin and tonic uh, tins, cans, whatever you want to call them, um, so that if you're having that day in the park where you want to chill with your friends, you want to have a little G&T tinny, um, you know, you've come to the right place to know which ones taste the best. Uh, I've got a whole range of different ones um, from sort of like more expensive premium options from brands to those slightly cheaper from supermarkets. Um, so yeah, if this sounds like the kind of thing that would interest you, please keep watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you don't already subscribe to me, go and hit that subscribe button down below. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So we're gonna go from cheapest to most expensive and I am kicking off with this Grayson's London Dry Gin and Tonic Mixed Profession, Profession? Perfection. This I got from Aldi and it cost only 85p, also excuse me now. But this I got from Aldi, it cost only 85p, which is really, really cheap. It's got 5%, it's 250 mil, it's got 5% alcohol volume. It's gin and tonic, alcohol mixed drink with flavorings, quinine. That what's in uh, 52 calories i don't know 131 calories per can i thought gnt was better than that but anyway and yeah so let's give it a try i don't really know what it is i'm looking for but i'm quite fussy when it comes to gnt not that i'm like a gnt snob because i'm really not like my wine of choice uh, my wine of choice <laughs> my drink of choice is wine um so like basically a gnt has to be really nice for me to enjoy it <laughs> Hmm. I think that's nice. The tonic isn't too strong. Like I think that's really, really drinkable. Like I feel like I could sit and drink quite a few of those and I think at 85p, it's really nice. It doesn't leave too much of like a bitter aftertaste. You just get, yeah, the nice flavor from the, oh, I think it's more the tonic I'm getting actually, but the gin is balanced quite nicely. But I think the kind of overarching flavor in that is the tonic, but yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna kick off with maybe a Three out of five. So next up we have this London Dry Gin, um, a classic style dry London gin and tonic um, from Tesco. This one was one pound, so still really reasonable, but slightly more expensive um, than the Aldi one. 250ml, again it's 5% alcohol volume, no artificial flavours or colours. It says the perfect serve pour over ice cubes in a tall glass. I don't necessarily agree with that because I think the whole point of getting these tins is that you're going to be drinking them on the go and they're ready ready to drink out of the can, but that's fine. A, blended of, a blend of carbonated tonic water with sugar and sweetener and London dry gin, and this is 118 calories per can. This one's a lot sweeter and I like it. I quite like that added, added sweetness. There's a, definitely a clear distinction on the taste. The tonic isn't coming through as strongly, but you can still taste it. But I think the main thing I'm getting in there is the sweetness from the added sugar. Mm, it's really good though. I'm not gonna drink all five of these, I promise. Mm. Yeah, if you like your G&T slightly more on the sweet side, I'd definitely go for this one over the Aldi one. 
um, and it's still really, really good value. I will give that one a 3.5. So next up on the list, we've got our first branded product, and this is Gordon's London Dry Gin and Tonic, perfectly mixed, so trademark, perfectly mixed gin and tonic. Gordon's obviously a very popular brand. This one's 143 calories, so it's slightly more calorific than the others. Um, again, it says served, served in a glass, I don't get it. Um, this is also 5% volume and 250, so generally they're all 5%. Um, but yeah, Gordon's classic G&T brand. Let's see how this tastes. Oh, and this one, um, I can't remember exactly how much I pay, but I looked at supermarket websites and you can get it from between £1.60 and £1.80. So immediately, as soon as I opened it, you get that like Gordon, classic Gordon's gin aroma. Like that is clearly much more about the gin, which you would expect, you would expect in any of them but because it's actually a brand. But the second I opened it, I could smell that Gordon's, like it was really familiar. It does just taste like a Gordon's G&T, not as sweet as the Tesco one and not as tonicky as the Aldi one. Yeah, I think, I think I still prefer the sweetness that comes with the Tesco one just because I do like sour flavours, but I don't like that. I don't love, I don't love, love, love G&Ts. Um, but yeah, it's nice. I drink it. I choose the Tesco one particularly because it's, um, you know, quite a bit cheaper as well. I might have to move Tesco up to four so that this can take the 3.5 spot. So next up, it's our last retailer one and we're at the bougie end of retailers now and we have got the M&S Gin and Tonic. So it's Indian tonic water with two measures of extra dry gin, two measures. This one's 8%. Wow. This is a strong A. Very interesting. Suitable for vegetarians and vegans, just in case. Again, serve chilled. Pour over ice. Don't get it. Oh well. I thought you were meant to be RTDs, guys. I mean, I guess they are if they're going over ice, but you know, I thought they were meant to be on the go. OTG, even. Anyhow, uh, this one, £1.90, so we're really creeping up there on the old cost scale, but it is M&S, and let's see how it tastes, because at the moment, I'm liking Tesco the best. So you, you don't get like an overly big whiff. Whiff? <laughs> you don't get an overly, Oh my god, you don't get an overly big like aroma of gin when you open it like you do with the Gordons, but it doesn't really smell like much, but let's see what it tastes like. I mean, you can tell it's a double. That is a, that's strong. I mean, the can size is exactly the same. So Obviously, yeah, it's a double, but you don't have double the tonic. You have the, you, you know, you've got less tonic, you've got more gin. If you like the taste of gin, you'll like this because the taste of gin is really strong. To be honest, I prefer the taste of gin than I do the taste of tonic. So I don't dislike that. I actually like it better than the Gordon's, I think. Do you know what? I'm going to stop like ranking them out of five. I'm just going to put them in an order. So. Would I rather drink this or, hang on. That one's, the Aldi's much sweeter. I'm sorry, m &S. I think it's gonna have to go at the bottom for me. It's just a bit too strong. Like, if I was drinking to get drunk, then yeah. But if I'm just like sit, sitting and sipping and enjoying a gin and tonic, like that's not really for me, especially because of the price point as well. I'm gonna have to put it at the bottom. Sorry, m and I love you. I usually love you loads. Our final gin and tonic for today's video is the top end of, you know, the brand g and that I got for this video. Oh my God. And it is the Bombay Sapphire gin and tonic created with vapor infused London dry gin. So this is kind of middle ground. It's 250 ml, 6.5% volume. Um, so it's Bombay Sapphire Gin Expert, ex oh my God, Expert, <laughs> Expertly mixed with tonic to bring you our signature G&T wherever you are. Again, best, best poured over ice. 16% gin. I mean, I know I said before, maybe the others are like doubles because I didn't, 
It's only M&S like specifically called out that it was a double. Maybe this is as well. This is 6.5% alcoholic. So it's somewhere in the middle. So like the the, the first three I did were 5%. M&S was 6 was 8% and this is 65 I'll be intrigued to see, considering Bombay Sapphire is a gin brand, if the gin smell comes through like it did with Gordon's. Oh, and on prices, this one you can get anywhere between two and three pounds. I, again, I bought this a while ago, so I, I can't remember what I paid, but I looked on websites and that's what it seemed to be. So yeah, definitely like the top end of the scale, especially if you're paying more towards three pounds. So it's quite expensive. A bit of a whiff, but nothing, nothing to, as strong as the Gordons. I feel like the taste of it is the taste of Bombay Sapphire. God, it's so interesting to like taste what the different gins really taste. They are all so different, in my opinion. That's a lot more bitter, but it's it's quite nice. It's got it's real like me. I'm about to try and be technical. It's very botanical this one, and I feel like gin is meant to be botanical. And this, you're you're really getting that. So if you're like a gin connoisseur, if you will and you like that to come through in your gin and tonics, in your gins, then this is gonna be the one for you. In terms of my personal taste buds and the fact that I'm not a gin connoisseur, um, it wouldn't be my number one. It would be up there. M&S I put at the bottom, then I think I put Gordon's. No, M&S at the bottom, then I put Aldi, then I put Gordon's, and then I put Tesco. I think this will come just below, it, it comes above Gordon's, but below Tesco, so this will be number two for me. I wanna see if botanicals is the right word, because now I feel embarrassed. Shy, I'm a shy girl. Yeah, yeah, that's the right word, I was right. I shouldn't have doubted myself, but yeah, it's nice. Um, is it worth the price? Probably not, like I'm not gonna, if I was standing in a supermarket and I saw in Tesco, Bombay Sapphire, three pounds, Tesco own, why am I pretending when I've got it? Bombay Sapphire, three pounds, Tesco, own brand, one pound. It's really a no-brainer, isn't it? Um, let's be honest, guys. But yeah. And that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed me taste testing these different gins and hopefully um, has kind of helped you make decisions when you go into supermarkets and you're deciding which GNT you wanna buy. Um, as I said, like my number one is definitely the Tesco one and it's really, really affordable at just one pound. Really good and it's nice and sweet. So if you like a sweet GNT, that is gonna be the one for you. If you liked this video and you'd like me to do like, it is a series where I could do it like with different like pre-mixed, ready to drink um, cans like that. Like I could do like mojito um, or like vodka and coke or yeah, something, then let me know in the comments below. I think now is like a really good time to do it when people are gonna wanna be outside with their friends in the park drinking away. Um, but yeah, remember if you like this video, give me a thumbs up um, and don't forget to subscribe to me if you don't already. But yeah, until next time, bye.